very simple circuit so you can build uh, let's say a car turn signal to blink this light bulb using a LED as a flasher and I'm using this kind of LED which is self blinking LED and you can easily find on the on the internet they are very cheap and for this project I'm using only the resistor of 470 ohms for the blinking LED and one small light bulb and the transistor is BD681 it's a 4 ampere uh, N pen Darlington N pen transistor and the first leg is emitter collector and ba base remember that let's build the circuit now That's it, I'm finished. 40 seconds <laughs> with only using one, two, three, and this is four components to make a blinking light bulb using the LED. You can use this circuit for your car turning signal. Let's power it up. It needs from four volts to 6 volts maximum because the light bulb is 6 volts and if you want to use it for 12 volts that is not a problem on the emitter go negative and here go positive take a look the simplicity of this circuit using one LED one blinking LED we make to to flash the light bulb using a transistor and the, that LED. This is a cool and I like it because it's simple. Three components only. One, two, three to blink the light bulb. Wow. I don't think so that I need to show you the schematic. It's simple. Only one end pen transistor, the LED and the, the resistor the LED through the resistor is connected on the base the collector of the transistor is output for the bulb and on, on the emitter we connect the negative power supply positive go to the light bulb and on the resistor in my case I'm using 470 ohms for the LED and it's working perfect I like it And for making this circuit you will need only four components. Yes, you need one N-pen transistor, one blinking LED, one active buzzer and one resistor of 270 ohms. It's a simple, it's a simple beeping buzzer plus blinking LED. And later I'm going to show you one crazy effect using another LED. Here it is the circuit diagram. If you want to make a beeping buzzer, you will need, as I said, an N-pen transistor. In this case I'm using 2N3904. And the first leg is emitter, base and collector. On emitter go 5 volts on base with negative side of the LED is of a blinking LED is connected through 270 ohm resistor on positive power supply. Negative leg from the buzzer go on the collector of the transistor and the positive go to the positive. This circuit work on 5 volts and let me hook up a power to see how it's working.
you can hear it because it's the self blinking LED makes turn on and turn off the base of the transistor so we get that beeping sound it's very simple circuit using four components but now I'm gonna use this LED which is RGB self blinking LED with couple of effects let's try this one desoldering the red soldering the super fast RGB blinking LED okay I'm gonna hook up negative can you hear it? it changed sound Super cool, and I will use in this in my next projects maybe as alarm. Okay, I hope you enjoyed in this short video, which was making a simple beeping buzzer plus blinking LED or this super fast blinking RGB LED that makes weird sounds. Using this N-pen transistor that can handle with maximum 6 amperes of load and it doesn't cost very much, you can make an interesting circuit. You can buy 10 pieces of TAP41C N-pen transistor from AliExpress for 86 cents and from eBay you can find it for around dollar and eighty cents or two dollars for ten pieces of this transistor. It's very popular and very used N-pen transistor. As I said, it can handle up to six amperes of load. And here it is a very simple circuit diagram of how to make an automatic on-off light or to use this circuit for your street light. It use only three components the transistor the photoresistor or the LD LDR and one resistor of 120 kilo ohms the LED can be any type of LED around from 3 volts and maximum to 12 volts I'm gonna use a 12 volt array of LEDs this circuit is, work, is working from 6 maximum I think to 24 volts and the transistor pinout is base, collector and emitter. On emitter is negative power supply. The collector is output for the LED. On base is connected 120 kilo ohm resistor going to the positive power supply. And the photoresistor is connected between base and emitter. That's it. As I told you, you will need only one N-pen transistor, in this case I'm using TIP41C, it's a 6 amperes transistor, one resistor of 120 kilo ohm, this is a photoresistor LDR, and I'm using this LED light, which can work on 12 volts, so this circuit is for 12 volts, but you can run it from around 6 volts maximum I think 20 or 24 volts okay let's now solder all the components all three of them <laughs> Finish it. Simple as that. Three components, automatic on off light. You can use this for street light. And this is the simplest way how to make it.
I'm going to try it. As I said, I'm using 12 volts. Set my power supply to 12 volts. On this point, go 12 volts. And on the emitter of the transistor, go negative. And it's not working. Why? Because there is a light. The photoresistor picking up the the light and it's working just to kill the studio lights working not working all right one more time LEDs turn it on when it's detect a light LEDs turn it off and you can use this circuit with this transistor that can handle maximum up to 6 amperes you can put some high power LEDs and use the transistor maximum it's very simple the simplest automatic on off light all right using these four electronic components i'm gonna show you how you can build a cool circuit that anyone can build it let's start today's video meet irfz44n mosfet transistor and what is this electronic component? The IRFZ44N is a MOSFET power transistor made by Infineon Technologies. It's known for its capacity to switch high voltage and current levels. MOSFET means Metal Oxide Semiconductor Field Effect Transistor, a transistor type that has low resistance to output and high resistance to input. It have three pins. The first one is gate, the middle one is drain, and the third one is source. And I'm gonna show you today project and explain the circuit diagram. It's super simple circuit for making a on-off touch switch using only four components: the MOSFET, two diodes. And the light bulb. Okay, pay attention on the diodes. They are opposite with poles and they are connected on gate. The drain go through the light bulb on positive 12 volts and on so source we have ground. When you touch the one diode the bulb will turn on when you touch the other diode the bulb will turn off let's build this circuit and see will it work Okay, let's try it. On the third pin, <coughs> sorry, we connect ground 
and on the bulb positive. Turning on, yes, turning off. I can't believe it. It's so simple circuit. Touch switch on, off, on, 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 off. Working. If I touch it, both of them. All right. Turn it on, turning off. This is so cool. I'm going to measure the voltage just to see. Here we have 10.4 volts and when it's on I'm going to measure 10.3. This is super. All right. Oh, off. If I touch the negative, all right, if I touch the positive, this is cool. Let's remove the bulb and I'm gonna place a buzzer. Will it work that? Whoa. Okay. Again, here we have ground. This is, I reduce the voltage to five volts, and now we're gonna see does the circuit work on five volts? Okay. Yes. working so the circuit worked from 5 volts to 12 volts tested all right one more test i'm gonna try with the dc geared motor that i have right here okay and positive go to the wire of the motor is set on 5 volts turning on whoa I like it 